Hello, my name is Shannon and I'm a personal trainer and yoga instructor at the WAC downtown. Today's yoga flow class will be focused on the legs, specifically the backs of the legs, the hamstrings and the calf muscles in preparation for everyone's favorite pose, splits pose. Now splits is a great accompaniment to resistance training, to runners, um, basically great prep for anyone doing anything ever. So don't let splits scare you away. There'll be plenty of options for everyone and you're gonna enjoy it more than you think. So the only props that you're gonna need today aside from your mat are, where is it? A strap like implement. So you can use an old scarf like I have. You can use a towel even. It's just something that's long that you can use to potentially loop around your foot, okay? Place it off to the side. I'm going to have some water at hand, or if you're like me, you're a cup of coffee because it's in the morning and I need it to survive. So we're going to start in hands and knees in table pose. My coffee here, palms underneath your shoulders, hips over your knees, tops of your feet flat on the mat. Take a deep breath in, drop your belly as you gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your back, pressing into the palms. Inhale, drop the belly as it gaze up. Exhale, round it, finding cat pose. Continue in this way, moving with your breath. Working on flexing and extending the spine. Waking up our bodies. Take one more round here, inhale. Exhale. And then come to neutral table. Take an inhale and extend your right leg back behind you. Land your toes on the mat and begin to sink back towards that foot. So you should feel a, sl a slight stretch along the back of your leg here. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your right knee forward and tap your nose. Inhale, extend, land the foot, shift back. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Then from here, opening that leg out to the side, kick it straight. Hold it here and then begin to land your foot onto the floor. I'll pivot so you can see. And sweep your arms up overhead. Take an inhale and exhale over that extended leg. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, down to the left. Reach that right arm across. You should feel a stretch along your right hip flexor. And then from here, begin to swing your right arm towards the floor as you walk your hands towards your outstretched foot. You may find that your hands are more here. You may find that you can get your right hand towards the foot. You're just going to fold towards that outstretched leg. And then walking the hands back to center, palms underneath the shoulders. Take an inhale, lift the leg. And exhale, bring your right knee into meet the left. Take a round of cat cow. Inhale, extend that left leg back behind you. Land your toes, shift back towards the heel. Coming into a little bit of a stretch here. Another deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, bring it forward, give it a tap. Inhale, extend, land the foot, stretch out. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale, extend, land the foot. Exhale, knee to nose. And then from here, open that leg out to the side, kick it straight, and then land your left foot on the mat and sweep your arms up. Deep breath in, exhale over that outstretched leg. Inhale, 
inhale up, exhale, right hand down, reach that left arm straight across. And you know what's coming, begin to sweep that top arm down, walk your hands all the way towards your outstretched leg, folding towards it. Walking the hands back through, palms underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift that leg up. Exhale, bring it in. Take a round to cat cow. And finding puppy pose, hips over your knees. Start by looking forward, giant step forward with the hands, looking forward as you bring your chest towards the floor. If you're trying to get into puppy pose and you're finding that there isn't a part of your body that's touching down, grab a pillow, place it underneath your chest. You can stack multiple pillows, that's fine. You really just want to be able to sink into something here. Keep breathing. And begin to look a little forward in between the thumbs. Shift forward onto your forearms, remove the pillow if you've got it. And tuck your toes, or lift your knees for forearm plank, and one arm at a time, finding your full plank. Take a breath in as you lift your right leg up, and exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, look forward. And exhale, land your right foot in between your hands, drop your back knee, untuck your toes. Root through your front heel to sweep the arms up to your low lunge on Vinayasa. Now in this low lunge, you're gonna back out of it a little bit. So it's not as deep of a bend in your front knee. Guide your right hip back so your hips are parallel at the top of your mat and tuck your tailbone. From there, it's sinking back forward. You likely won't get as deep of a bend in your front knee, but you'll feel more of a stretch on your left hip flexors. Deep breath in. Exhale, lengthen the front leg, curl your toes towards your face and fold over your outstretched leg. And this is half splits. So in your half splits, it's not about getting your butt to your heel. It's about folding yourself over your front leg. You should feel the stretch all along the back of your right leg. Next inhale, walk your hands forward, sweep up, low lunge. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Inhale up. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Fold over it. Chill here for a second. Keep thinking about pulling those toes towards the face, letting gravity guide you towards your leg. Next inhale, walk your hands forward. Frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your knee, and step your right foot back to meet your left. You can take a push up here if you would like. And we'll go into the second side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, look forward. And exhale, land the foot. Drop the back knee, untuck your toes, sweep your arms up. Coming into that same adjustment, back out of that front knee, pull your left hip back, tuck your tailbone, sink back forward. Deep breath in. Exhale, lengthen the front leg and fold over it. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, up. Exhale, lengthen, fold over that outstretched leg. Gravity draw you towards your leg. And from here on your next inhale, 
Walk your hands forward, plant your front foot, tuck your back toe, lift your knee, step back to plank, take your push up, and then shift your hips up and back to your first downward dog. Bring some movement to your first downward dog, so pedal out your feet, sway your hips, do what feels good here. Keep breathing, deep breaths in through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. Come to a place of stillness in your downward dog. Spread your fingers wide, feet hip width distance apart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, look forward, take a bend in your knees. And exhale, slowly begin to walk your feet forward to meet your hands, finding a forward fold. Inhale, rise halfway, fingers sweep towards shin, back is flat. Exhale, fold. Twice more. Inhale to your half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, reach for the ceiling. And exhale, hands to heart center, samsvigi. Three rounds of sun salutation A to start. So inhale up. And exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, land your hands and make your way to plank. From here, shifting your shoulders past your wrists. Turn it onto your knees, bend your elbows against your body as you come all the way down onto your bellies, untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your heart, pull your shoulder blades back. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, halfway lift, maybe straighten a little bit more for cobra. Exhale, come down. Inhale, baby or full cobra. And exhale, tuck your toes, press up through plank. To downward dog. Deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step, hop, or float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, straight back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose, however you would like to get there. From here, shift your shoulders past your wrists. Turn on to your knees. Bend your elbows against your body, hovering here for modified chaturanga. Inhale to your cobra or straighten the arms and lift your thighs for upward dog. And then on your exhale, making your way back to downward dog. Deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, top of the mat real faster this time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straight back down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, making it to your version of Chaturanga, however you want to get there. Inhale, upward dog or your back plane of choice. And exhale, downward dog. Great work, everyone. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, gaze forward. And exhale, land your foot in between your hands, dropping the back knee, untucking the toes, and sweeping up to your low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale up. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale up. Exhale, lengthen. This time, as you inhale, walking your hands forward, tuck your, or, <laughs> tucking your back toes, lifting your knee, drop your hips, come to your fingertips, and look up, coming into a runner's lunge. Sink those hips nice and low. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Fold over it. So you can use pillows here underneath your hands. 
blocks if you have them. Take a slight bend in your front knee if you need to. It's totally fine. Back heel lifted nice and high. There's no expectation of landing that back heel down. Chilling for a moment here. Deep breath in, bend your front knee. Sink back forward. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale forward. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale forward. Exhale, lengthen. Land your hands. Bend your front, your front knee as much as you need to and sweep that leg back behind you for three-legged dog. Looking between your thumbs, shift forward for plank pose, and then take your flow, whatever variation you would like. Always feeling free to skip the flow if it doesn't serve you. No one will know. <laughs> it's the benefit of these at-home classes, right? You could be in child's pose right now. No one would know. Totally fine either way. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Look forward. And exhale, land your foot. Drop your back knee and tuck your toes. Sweep your arms up. Great work, deep breath in, exhale, lengthen, inhale forward, exhale, lengthen and fold, inhale forward, exhale, lengthen, just chill here for a moment, much like in class, I can't remember if I made you do this in the first side. <laughs> Begin to walk your hands back towards your front foot as you bend your knee, untuck your back toes, lift your knee, drop your hips, come to fingertips, lift your chest up, runner's lunge, inhale, and exhale, lengthen. Taking a moment to get a good feel for this, however your body wants to feel in this pose. If you want to straighten your front leg, if you want to bend your knee, come high in that back heel, that's totally fine. Just feel it in the back of your hamstring. Next inhale, dive forward, bend the knee, runner's lunge, exhale, lengthen, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, land the hands, take a generous bend in your front knee and sweep that leg back behind you for three-legged dog. Come here, making your way to plank and taking your flow. However you would like to make your way back to downward dog, get there. From there, just taking a moment in child's pose or to get a sip of water or coffee. Doing great, you guys. This coffee is cold. Like I said that in my last video, just don't learn. <laughs> All right, in the next few breaths or so, beginning to make your way back to downward dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, land the foot, drop the knee and tuck the toe, sweep the arms up, low lunge. Inhale, a little faster this time. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Inhale, shift forward, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, runner's lunge. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. This time as you inhale, bend into your front knee and sweep your arms up for crescent lunge. Crescent lunge, reaching your arms up, palms parallel, sinking the hips down. Deep breath in. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Fold over with airplane arms. You sweep your fingertips back behind you, your torso coming to parallel. Inhale up to crescent. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Inhale up. This time you're going to reach forward of your front leg. Reach, 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 reach. Launch off of your back foot, making your way to warrior three. So warrior three. Feel free to bring your hands to heart center or scoop the arms back behind you, whichever arm variation works best for you. Torso and leg working towards parallel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise halfway. So land your hands and take your flow, meaning in downward dog. Second side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, land the foot. Drop the knee, sweep the arms up, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, lengthen the front leg. Inhale, forward, lift the knee for runner's lunge. Exhale, lengthen the front leg and fold over. Next inhale, rising up to crescent. Take a moment to get situated in your crescent lunge. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lengthen the front leg, fold it over with airplane arms. Inhale up. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale up and begin to reach forward, torso graze at the top of the thigh and launch forward to warrior three. Rather close to my chair. <laughs> Take a deep breath in here. And exhale to forward fold. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale, land the hands and take your flow. Lean back, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, look forward, and as you exhale, you're going to land your right foot, keep that back heel lifted nice and high as you sweep right up to your crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, back up to crescent, exhale, lengthen the front leg. Inhale, crescent, exhale, reach forward for warrior three. If you're like me, you've got something in front of you, just use it like a bar. Totally fine. <laughs> then you're gonna bring a, bring a bend to your left knee and bring that leg all the way up to standing, okay? This is where you wanna grab your strap-like implement for class, okay? We've been working a little bit on our hamstrings, so you might not be, you might be surprised by how flexible your hamstrings are feeling at this point, okay? So you've got that left leg in your hands. You're gonna hike that knee up towards the chest without lifting the hip up with it, okay? How about the belly? Pull your navel towards your belly and walk your hands down underneath the foot, okay? If you've got the strap, you can grab a hold of your foot with the strap, okay? Then working towards kicking your leg straight, turn to the sides, you can see me from the side. So you've got, come on, <laughs> this situation happening. If you've got the foot, you're gonna fold over that outstretched leg. Otherwise, feel free to just have the foot in the strap and just hold it straight. My main concern is that you feel a stretch in the back of your leg. So do what you need to do to feel that stretch. One more moment here. And let go of the legs, sweep the arms up. Bring that leg back behind you, land the left foot to the back of the mat and open up to warrior two. Pointing your knee towards your big, your big toe, your second toe. Fun fact, my big toe is my second toe, so good times. Arms parallel to the floor, engaging the core. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, lengthen into your front leg, pull your right hip back, begin to tilt forward for triangle pose. Landing the right hand against the leg, Take your left hand and sweep from your wrist across your collarbone to extend the arm up so that you know that your shoulders are stacked. Definitely feel free to use a block here. Feel free to bring your hand to your chest if you want to float your triangle. 
whatsoever. Great work. Next inhale, bend into your front knee, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel down to frame your front foot. Come onto your back toe, sweep your leg back behind you, and take your flow. Inhale your left leg up this time. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend, look forward. Exhale, land your foot. Sweep the arms up for a crescent lunge. Deep breath in. Exhale, lengthen the front leg and fold over it. Inhale, up. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, up. Begin to reach the arms forward. To exhale into warrior three. Back leg working towards straight. We're gonna bend into that right knee and bring it all the way up to standing. Here it is. If you, if you need the strap, grab a hold of that strap. You've got the knee, pull it up towards the chest, nice and high. Grab a hold of that foot. If you're here, you can just loop that strap underneath it got distracted by the UPS bus and then extend that leg okay hollow up the belly point your shoulder blades back so you're not rounding here shoulders are nice and pull it back do that stretch I'm gonna do this one time you guys you've got that leg let go of it Lengthen it, sweep it back behind you and land it to the back of the mat, opening up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Lengthen the front leg, pull your left hip back and tilt forward on the exhale to your triangle pose. Taking that sweep across the shoulders here so that you can tell that you're really stacking. Try not to collapse into the bottom hand, nice and light. Next inhale, rise up to reverse your warrior. And next exhale, cartwheel you down, frame your front leg, and you take your flow. Alrighty, from here, Come down onto your mat. If you've got straps, you can use them. If you've got a couple pillows around, you might not know what you need until you get into this, okay? When we're at the WAC, it's a lot easier because we have everything that we need. So I don't know about you, but I'm very much looking forward to getting back to that place as soon as possible. Okay. I've done a lot of half splits today, and it should be no surprise that in many ways, full splits comes from half splits, right? So, if you think about your half splits being here, start by sliding your leg forward. If you have blocks, you can place them underneath your hands, kind of walk yourself forward. Once you get to the point of no return, if you have blocks, you can put them underneath your body. If you got pillows, We'll place them underneath your legs or your hoo-ha, whatever, and just chill out. <laughs> no one can chill out in splits. I don't even know why I said that. If you don't have box and you're not quite so flexible, you're just gonna chill at the point of no return. So wherever that is, trying to sit tall, you might find that your muscles are clenching a little bit. It'd be preferable to have the blocks but not all of us do. Just chill in here. And if this doesn't feel right for you, then you, then you chill in your half splits, right? This is a great hamstring stretch and you get a lot of great benefits from it. So it's definitely fine to stay here, okay? Slide your right leg back in. 
We're going to go into the second side. You can, you can use pillows, you can use your hands. You can walk yourself forward, let the foot slide out. Option one is to rest. I don't even know if I can do it on this side. <laughs> Option one is to rest on the pillows. If you don't have pillows, no big deal. You can chill here. Folding forward, maybe trying to keep your legs straight, but if you get a bend in the knee, that's fine. Or you can just take your half splits, floating over the outstretched leg. Doesn't matter here, just get into that hamstring, light it up, light it on fire, as I'd say in class, if you were all together. Then drag that foot back in, shake out your hips a little bit, so wiggle from side to side, and then come into your child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide to the width of your mat, reaching your fingertips forward. I forgot to mention that you needed pillows for class today. When I said which props you were supposed to use, mea culpa, you guys, mea culpa. Come on to your fingertips and walk your hands over to the right. Left hand goes beyond the right. Pull your left armpit towards the mat. Walk back through center, over to the other side. Right hand goes beyond the left. Bring that right armpit towards the mat. Walk your hands back towards center and in towards your knees as you shift forward the table. We did this at the end of last class too, and I do it at the end of all of my classes that I teach at the WAC. We do this pose every single class. And if you're new to headstand, it just takes practice. Um, if you have a wall, you can go up to the wall for this. You're gonna come onto your forearms, and grab a hold of opposite elbows, so your shoulders are stacked above the elbows and interlace the fingers. Back to your head and close in your hands, top of your head on the mat. Press your forearms into the mat so you're engaging your back here. If you're watching me in the video, you can see how I'm starting and how collapsed I look. When I engage my back, my head isn't even on the ground right now, okay? Tuck your toes, lift your knees, walk your feet in towards your face. Option one, chill here. Option two is to bring a knee into the chest and maybe bring your other knee in to meet it. We're gonna lengthen the legs up. However, because your hamstrings might be quite open today, you could, maybe you can walk your feet in, lift the leg, and use that leg to bring the other one up. The key to headstand, aside from pressing your forearms into the mat, is walking your feet in enough to bring your hips over your shoulders because if you're starting from back here think about how you would have to bring your hips over that's why most people jump or try to launch themselves into headstand but if your hips are over your knees it's barely even a challenge to get those legs up because you've already done the majority of the work for yourself all right, from here, making your way back to a child's pose after you're finished headstanding. And I always say in class, you're never really done headstanding. So if you wanna continue on with your headstands, who am I to stop you? In your child's pose, reaching your hands back towards your heels, grabbing a hold if you can, and let, the, and let your forehead press into the mat here. So if you can relax, your shoulders, relax your face. And you can stay in your child's pose for as long as you like. If you'd like to enjoy Shavasana afterwards, definitely feel free to do so. Um, yeah, so I thank you for joining me today. Check back tomorrow for Cardio Light with Jenna and Restorative Yoga with Katrina. 
and I will be back soon with, what did I decide to do? I think it was a core class. Yeah, so check back with me for my next class. We'll be working on core, maybe featuring an arm balance or two. So thank you so much and hope to see you next time.